Dassault Aviation has submitted its final offer for 26 Rafale Marine fighter jets for the Indian Navy at a significantly reduced price, and the revised deal will not include integration of UTAM radar, but includes Meteor long-range missiles and anti-ship missiles. The DRDO is developing an interferometric fiber optic gyroscope based inertial navigation system for the BrahMos missile, that will further enhance the precision and reliability of the BrahMos. VJ Yan Trishul Defense Solutions has created a joint venture with Poland's WB Group, for the production of the war meat loitering munitions in India. Bharat Dynamics Limited has showcased its Amog 3 anti tank guided missile at the Asia Defense and Security 2024 exhibition in Manila, Philippines. The government has increased the special financial powers of army commanders responsible for the Northern Command to 500 crore rupees, Eastern Command to 400 crore, and Central Command to 200 crore rupees. Mazagin Dock Ship Builders has said that the sixth and final Calvary class submarine is undergoing final trials, and it will be commissioned into the Indian Navy in December. Pune based Chistat Slabs has developed a comprehensive diagnostic system for various parts of aero gas turbine engines for engine health monitoring. Just ahead of the scheduled visit of Indian National Security Advisor Rajit Doval to France, Dassault Aviation has submitted the final price offer to India for the 26 Rafale Marine deal, and reports indicate that the price offer has been significantly reduced after tough negotiations, and would be using the previous contract for 36 Rafale fighter jets for the Indian Air Force as the basis with including inflation into account. The Rafale Marine will be integrated with Astra series missiles and Meteor long-range missiles, along with the Rudram anti-radiation missiles and Exocet anti-ship missiles, and the deal will be signed before the end of this financial year. The Director of Avionics and Weapons Systems at the Aeronautical Development Agency has said that the much-awaited rollout of the Tejas Mark II fighter jet has been rescheduled for March 2026 and this revised timeline indicates a positive development in the program. The assembly of the first prototype had begun recently, and following the rollout, the Tejas Mark II will undergo a series of crucial tests, before receiving clearance for its maiden flight. The DRDO has made significant strides in developing a dual-flow automatic loader for its future main battle tank. The dual-flow automatic loader features a conveyor in the hull, that is capable of holding 24 rounds, and an additional 16 rounds are stored in a second conveyor in the turret, and this dual storage system ensures a continuous supply of ammunition to the main gun, allowing increased rate of fire without manual reloading, reduced crew workload, enhanced crew safety and reduced exposure to enemy fire. Indian Air Force has released a request for information to procure six next-generation airborne early warning and control systems, and tender documents reveal that it will have an endurance of over eight hours of continuous operational capability, air-to-air -air refueling capability and fuel dumping capacity. It will have an operational altitude of above 40,000 feet, and 360-degree coverage detection and tracking of large aircraft to low radar cross-section targets, missile warning system with 360-degree coverage for detecting incoming missiles, laser-based aircraft infrared countermeasures integrated for automatic queuing, and countermeasure dispensing system for effective chaff and flare dispensation. Today's top 3 comments.